forgot about us because we were like all in the media celebrities were donating and stuff like that and we're running low on water and it just feel like people forgot about flint when the water is still contaminated even if we did switch back to detroit water the pipes are still dirty the water coming through our is still dirty we need to change the pipes We are back here, our Flint special continuing. I'm Hank Winchester, live along the banks of the Flint River. Uh, now to my one-on-one -on -one interview with Flint's mayor, Karen Weaver. She was open, she was honest, she was realistic about the future and also about her sometimes contentious relationship with Michigan's top boss, the governor. Flint's mayor is on a mission to help save her city. Sometimes I think people forget that I'm a resident yeah. and that I'm dealing with those same issues and uh, using the bottled water and talking about the filters and making sure people understand. And then you go home and you're like, okay, well, let me put these bottles in this yeah, recycle it's got, bag. It's got to make um, you mad. It does. That part makes me very angry. The um, water crisis made national headlines just yeah. months after she was sworn in. And immediately her battles with the governor also started making big news. There are times where we've been able to work nicely together and there are times where we disagree. The latest battle over water credits, the governor ending those, saying that the deal was that they would end when the water quality significantly improved. The mayor saying it is too soon because even though the water is better, people are still being told to rely on filters or bottled water. I was disappointed. Um, did you tell him that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's one thing. It didn't work, though, did it? <laughs> it didn't work that time. It has uh, worked when more funding was needed for educational programs or infrastructure. But there's still much to do, and money is running out. What grade would I give the governor? And I said an I. I said an I for incomplete because uh, we, there's still time. Are you expecting him to be charged? Would you be surprised if he was charged? You know, um, one thing I've learned in this business is nothing surprises me. What anymore. did surprise the mayor? The commitment from an A-list celebrity, Cher. Hi. She cold called the mayor's office last spring, asking what she could do. She donated money and thousands of bottles of water. And she's been in constant contact with Weaver ever since. In fact, the mayor calls the Oscar winner her close friend. She always calls to check in and see what's going on in Flint. Celebrities, elected leaders, and everyday people pitching in to help. But the reality is this problem is not over. And sadly, it won't be for several years. Because this had not happened before, we had to just wait and see how long it was going to take. Nobody could really tell us. So what they thought would be a date for, oh, the pipes will be recoded, really didn't happen. A Mayor Weaver also talking about President Trump. You may remember when he was then candidate Trump made his way here to Flint and promised that if elected that he would work right away to solve the problem here in this city. She did tell us that just about a month ago the White House reached out to the fire chief here and the police chief. They were planning a visit. Last minute that trip was scrapped but she is very hopeful and optimistic that she will get the help she needs from Washington. Devin Kimberly.